Welcome to our Saturday, Saturday training and marketing, um, travel training and marketing. Uh, welcome you all here. Hey, I just wanted to kind of get a read of who I am training today. If you haven't already, throw in there how long you've been with the family um, and so on and so forth, and where you're calling from, because we do like to know where you all are at. That way we can um, give you so Ava, I remember that $5,000 too, Ava. It was amazing when you won that. I was sitting next to you. Um, <laughs> for those of you who missed it, uh, there was a time where we were at a convention and she won $5,000 and I was sitting right next to her. So it was amazing. It was the best thing ever. Well, hello, everybody. It has been a long time. You remember that too? I know, huh? Um, so today, I thought that I would go with one of the scariest subjects that I found to be for me and for a lot of different agents um, I hear from all the time. I want to give you an opportunity to learn how to do a couple different um, places here. And so I, who books Europe? Does anybody book Europe? Or are you, shout out in, in the chat. I love hearing from y'all. Um, let me know if you are somebody who has booked Europe, been to Europe, or if you are intimidated by booking Europe. Don't be shy, y'all. Interested, okay, wonderful. One quote so far. Oh, that's awesome, Erica. I love that. Anybody else? Has anybody booked Europe before? Visited and booked? Uh, you know what? I know you did, sister. I know that for sure. I love you. Hello, hearts. Visited and booked. Wonderful. So I get a lot of my agents asking, where do I go? That's a lot of the um, questions that I get. And I wanted to give you where I go to book Europe. I will tell you that it's one of the most advantageous places to book when um, you find the right, the right one place to do. Sorry about that. Just trying to get all of my information up. There we go. Is it, yep, Daphne, I knew that you probably did. Book it and Ben. Okay. So Europe Express, I believe, uh, Erica, didn't we have them on recently uh, for our walkthrough Wednesdays? I think we did. Regardless, Europe Express is one of my favorite places to book. Um, not only do they have incredible amount of resources for you, they also just have great um amount of commissions, which is awesome. Um, we have some quite some time ago. Okay. I knew that we did some time at some point we've had them on. Uh, it's by far my favorite place to book. And there's lots of different places. Don't get me wrong. I, I just tend to go to Europe Express. One of the reasons is, is I got a person. The first time you go into book, you end up becoming um, on somebody's radar, wherever you're booking, and then they can help you through all your future booking. So it's really cool. If I get a person that needs to go to Europe, I just call um, the agent I work with and she's the expert there and her and I go through and we book. So this is Europe Express. Has everybody heard of that Europe Express? If you haven't, it's really easy to sign up for. Um, just go in and put europeexpress.com. There you go. There's the registration if you haven't already registered. Um, have you guys used it? Those who have heard of it, have you, you tried it, go in and use it? Um, if you haven't, it's really well worth it. I want to show you a couple of features that we have. Okay, Monica, not yet. That's great words. Not yet, because you're going to now book to honeymoon for, I love them for honeymoons and for birthdays and everything. Um, so the resources tab here, it has so much y'all. I mean, they give you literally everything. I believe this is going to be Scotland here. It looks very Scotland-esque. They have flyers that you could use. Eight reasons to use a travel advisor, FIT and group. Do you all know what FIT is? Shout out in the, the chat if you do. If not, I'll, I'll teach you a few. Um, 
air issues, pre and post crews. I've used them quite a few times for pre and post crews, and it's amazing for that. There's products and services, sightseeing flyers, tipping guide. This tipping guide is amazing. And I actually refer to this on my webpage and I put a, I put a link to that. Here's one for Britain. So it has all kinds of flyers. How about webinars? There's webinars that you can view the library and go through and learn about where you're going to send your clients, um, how to book them on the right track, the rail journey. So there's lots of resources. I suggest that you come in here and look um, airport taxes and fees, passports. And even if you want to just learn about Europe and where to book and what to do, this is the place to be because it will show you. They have FIT travel, which is foreign independent travel, if you didn't know, um, which gives you custom quote request, group travel resources, so on and so forth. Now, if you want help booking your um, booking your clients, you could go right into here and give a uh, custom quote request. This is what I did to start out my time. And I put in the feedback and comments, any kind of information that you get when you're qualifying your clients. You really want to get as much information as you could get. It was the one and only time I used it. Um, but it did start my journey into booking Europe because I was intimidated. Europe's big. There's a lot of changes that happens, especially co um, post COVID. Each uh, country has so much to offer and I didn't want to do my clients um, an injustice. But for this experience, I want to show you how you can book yourself. So this is the very front of the um when you first log in, it's going to give you how to register with us, what's new, so on and so forth. Um, okay. Here's my account and all of some of my bookings. Your commission rate here, um, it's over 10%. I'm not 100% sure because everything's a little different. But what we're going to do today, somebody give me a country that you're interested in booking. Hi, Stacy. Italy. Italy is by far one of the most booked um, places that I do for sure. So we're going to go into a multi-city destination. We're going to do air and hotel and sightseeing. So we're going to depart out of ooh, Greece. Yep. I, so Greece is on my to-do list. FYI, I need to go to Greece for sure. Um, we're going to depart out of um, LaGuardia today. Uh, actually, I'll just do new. Oops. I'll just do New York, LaGuardia. And we're going to go next year. Obviously, we have no more time this year to go, but we're going to go in April of next year. Okay, so name a city that you want to go to in Greece, or excuse me, in um, Italy. This one's for you, Izzy. <laughs> Post down. Okay, perfect. So we're going to fly into, let's go ahead and fly into Rome. Our clients want to fly into Rome. We're going to add... And up here in this one, we could do how, how many ever destinations. I usually do three to four, honestly, in Italy. So we're going to start in Rome. I want to show you a way to book that without actually booking them in the area. Um, Florence. We're going to go to Florence. Then I want to show you something cool. And how do we want to get to Florence there? We're going to get there by rail. So we're going to stay in this area. We have very affluent clients here. And we're going to go to Florence. And in Florence, we're going to spend, I usually do three or four days in each destination, to be honest. If they have the time, that's what I want to do. <laughs> 
and this is really cool. If you don't know where to go, or if you want to go to multiple places, they have from Florence, we could go to any of these places here. So we could go to Italy. We're going to go to, um, you know what? We're going to go back. We're going to go to Lake Como, which I love Lake Como. Now it says here, I like to go from Florence to Lake Como, Italy by, and we have to call for assistance. It's okay. Don't worry if you don't get it in there. It's one of the reasons why I wanted to do that. And then we're going to go ahead and look here in Italy from Lake Como. These are the only things that we could do. And how about we go down to Naples? Okay. We have two people traveling. Our return date is going to be, let's see, 13th. We're going to go to the 16th. They're going to get a good vacation out of this, okay? Travel impressions is still a good option as well. I just find these guys, um, number one, it's the, the personal help I get with them um, that makes me happy. <laughs> I am able to have somebody who directly works with me and I could use them for all of Europe. and they are the experts. So I like going to the experts. I used to work for a, a tour operator, unable to find flights for those dates. Ah, of course, because that's the way it goes. Well, let's go out of JFK, New York, and, and let's just try a different date set. We'll go in February. We want to go earlier. February 9th. This happens all the time, y'all. This is part of part of booking, right? 9th through 12th. Ah, so you have to go to multi-city and how many destinations we want to go to. Of course, this is going to do something funky when I'm on. There we go. Actually, I'll just do three this time. Rome. And if you see here, you could do an optional area in Rome if you want to. Florence, Lake Como. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and pull out Lake Como and do... Let's go to one more place. Mm, let's go to Sicily because Sicily is... Definitely something we love to see. 13th. All right, let's see if we got enter a valid city to start. Italy, Florence, Sicily. So I'm going to show you, um, yeah, the Amalfi Coast is wonderful. There's a couple of destinations that I like. I don't know why this is doing this. I literally book them all the time, and I've never had these issues, of course, because y'all are watching. Um, <clears throat> but on this, fine, we'll go out of Venice then, because we love Venice. So the Amalfi Coast is wonderful. You can take a high-speed bullet train from uh, Rome to the Amalfi Coast and see that entire area go to the blue um, grotto. There's a lot of different places to go. I don't know what's going on, y'all. We're going to go. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go from Phoenix because that's what I do. Because I am located in Phoenix, Arizona. See if that works. All right. So I'm going to read multiple city, Mul the Amalfi Coast definitely is um, so beautiful. You can see right onto the water from 
the train as well. Have you heard of the high speed train? Okay. Yeah, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. If you guys haven't checked out some of these places, definitely do so. Yeah, it's on my list too. I literally just want to go to some of these places. There we go. It's generally super easy. So don't don't let this hiccup ruin your thoughts of what. Now you can see here, it's departure date is on the 6th, but we're going to not get there until the 7th. So it automatically does everything for you. Go to Venice. There we go. Um, we're going to go by rail. I usually prefer rail when I'm in doing European. If we can, it gives them another whole a bit of um, of inf uh, places to look at as they're going on. Got to go by rail. My goodness. So one room, two adults, double room or twin room, because in Europe, there's lots of twin rooms. Oh, thank you. <laughs> And I promise you, it's not this hard normally. <laughs> While we're waiting, welcome to those who have just joined us. We are working on Europe Express here because Europe tends to be one that folks don't like to get into. There's a lot of stuff that, to do in Europe and it's hard to know everything. Okay, perfect. So here's where we come in and we see what options we have. Um, we could go Phoenix to New York, New York to Rome. Tells you on Delta, which we love Delta. Um, Florence to France, France, what to Seattle, Seattle to, to Phoenix. I don't know if I, I'm liking this one. Here's another one that we could do. Florence usually, you usually could get out of there more than France. There we go. Phoenix, New York, New York to Rome, Florence to Amsterdam, Amsterdam to Salt Lake. We're going to go ahead and go with this one. We can do um, first class here, but we're not going to this time. We're just going to go ahead and go here. Okay, so when you're pricing out in here, you're going to see Rome Hotel. You're going to see each one of your segments come up. The first thing we're going to look at is Rome Hotel. Now, remember that in Europe, we have a lot of different ways to book them and everything you see there isn't going to be like your typical American hotel. Um, so they are a preferred partner. And that means just like our preferred vendors, that means that they usually have a little bit more pull with them. They send people there often and it gives you a good idea. You have all kinds of pictures here to look at. I will tell you, I normally do bring them up also after um, I get firmed out what who I want to go with. And see this, this is a triple room, which is very common. I usually bring them up on Google. That way I could see in Google exactly who I'm about to book. I find out where they're located in here. It gives you room facilities, hotel facilities, and how far away from the, the stations and everything there is. And this is kind of important because this is the rail station that normally most of them go out of. Um, so I would definitely look at all of this information and go through it. Here it tells you the stars. Now here it tells you also there's five available. So it tells you live availability. Um, most of them always come with a breakfast. A full buffet breakfast is not as common. Um, you'll see mostly bed and breakfast. And sometimes we don't even have the pictures. Let me see if I can load the image. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Um, nope. 
So I have put people in Gambrius. Um, I know that, that it is a good, and so is Savoy. Actually, I'm going to go with Savoy because it has the full buffet breakfast. Um, it gives you a little bit of a blurb here that you could use. It's um, definitely in a good location. As you can see right here, there's plaza right here. There's a lot of different things around here that you want to be around. And it tells you a whole bunch of the, the hotel facilities and everything. Yeah, we got it, right? See, you got you get me. You get me for sure. So um, don't expect that you're going to be putting your clients in a king room. I want you to be sure about that because when people are selling Europe, they think that people could get into a king room. There are places to do that but you're gonna to have to call and talk to a travel expert at the um, Europe Express in order to find a king room. It's not gonna be listed here. If you see he here, they're queen bed or double beds, um, twin superiors, classic room, American buffet. This is the price for all the rooms for all the people that are in your booking. So if you go all the way, we're gonna go all the way down. I know I hate scrolling fast, but and I know Erica is cringing at me because she hates it when I do this, but I'm just going to, I want to show you the bottom. So this one is obviously five star located in the city center. They still don't show us any pictures there. Um, nothing here. One of the reasons why I go. And it gives us a good um, amount of information here about that, but it's $8,234. So ouch. My clients here are affluent, but they're not quite there. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and go to next. Now, this is custom vacation here, Rome, Italy, Venice, Italy. So, and then Florence, this is Venice rail. So we're gonna go to Venice. And really in here, you could see that from the bottom to the top, it's there's a big difference. But the premier flexible club executive, I always go the high. I always go the high road and I bring it down if I have to. There's your departure and the duration. So duration is going to be the most key thing that I look at here. This is actually where I normally go, which is Roma Termini. And um, the this is where they go in Venice. So, and no, I don't normally know. Look at this trip summary up here also. It gives you a per person rate as well as a total estimate. Now we're at our Venice hotel. Um, I have a couple of ones that I love. This is the one that I book a ton of my clients at. Um, they love it because it's right on the water. It looks right out to the canal. It's super beautiful and it has a lot of charm to it. And charm is a good word, and you're going to have to get a lot of good words here when you're selling um, Italy or Europe in general, because you just never know. Now, these Junior Suites Canal View, that's what I was told was amazing. They could go right out and see their uh, the canal from their room. So Junior Suite Continental Breakfast, again, we're going to do a double. It tells you total price for all rooms. That's included in the price here but 142 per person if I wanted to do this one. So we're gonna do that. You could also filter your everything here. I could take out comfort and standard and modify it. I'm not going to because I don't wanna do anything different. Okay, so now we're gonna go from here and we're going to Florence. So Florence, we these are the two stations that I prefer to send people out of. I'm just going to do a business here. I don't feel like there's any reason for a two-hour tour to, to do that. Florence, Italy here, we have the hotel. And of course, when you're qualifying your clients, find out because you want to make sure you're putting them into the one, the, the place that you want to go to not only with the pricing, but also just location and where you want. And I have one in here that I normally use. I don't know why I'm not seeing any pictures today. 
Ooh, this is a good one too. So we're gonna go executive room. Sometimes it makes all the difference. We're gonna go ahead and look in here and talk about what the location is because sometimes in some of these, the location is the most key. You want your people to be able to walk to a lot of different things because that is the way Europe is. They do a lot of walking compared to America. Um, let's see, airport's five miles away. The train station is a, just a quarter mile. The restaurant there, yep. We're gonna go ahead and book this one for them. Now here's the transfers that we do a lot of. Um, I will tell you, always book a private transfer. This is per my, um, the agent I work with. She said that the private transfers are so much easier. They get to you easier and it is definitely worth it. So we're going to select this date because it's the date we arrive, a private executive transfer, and it tells you in here really what to expect on this private transfer. We're going to go ahead and select that. And that way you know that everything fits in there and everything is good. So now one of the reasons why it's so intimidating to book Europe, at least for me, is you have to have a transfer to and from the hotel to every single um, rail station and back and forth. These guys put it together in a package and they go through every single one. They say, okay, time to do your Venice transfer. Our Venice transfer is transferring from Venice. Actually, I need to go previous because I just don't need this one. I need Rome to the rail station. So we look for private from the hotel, Central Rome Hotel to the station. And that is on this day. We're gonna add that in. See how easy it is to go back and forth if you say, oh no, I gotta get them to and from. Then we're going to do from the Venice Hotel, let's see. There we go, train tra transfers. Venice Hotel, so that one is going to be on the 13th. And this one is on the 10th. So it kind of makes it in there. And if you have your list right in front of you of where you're going and what days, it makes it easier that I find that to be much easier. And of course our Florence, now, remember, we're going um, from Florence to the airport, but we are going to go from the train station, Florence to a hotel. There we go, on the 13th. And that's all your transfers. Boom, boom, they're all in. Now, here's the fun part. This is the part that I love. And this is where we're going to see some of these um, things that we want to do. And I will tell you, one of the best things to do is when you, your clients get in, a lot of times they're getting in in the morning. Okay. So getting them on this hop on hop off bus tour is super ideal for your clients because when they get into the, the, um, hotel, they're not going to be able to do anything. They're not going to be able to check in really for a while. And you want to give them something to do. Nothing better than sitting on a bus and just being able to look over and get kind of a lay of the land. So it's a hop on and hop off. There is a map here where it tells you everywhere to go, which is kind of cool because you could find their hotel and show them this map. So this is a good booking point for you. Um, it shows you all the stops that they make and it makes it so much easier for them. You can do this one for either 48 hours or for 24 hours. It's from the day. So I always do it for 48 hours. That way they have the ability to do so. The other couple they have, so there's food. Yep. Stacy, you'd like this. You got to eat, right? There's the gelato walking tours, um, small group pizza making course. I will tell you every person that has done this, it's a three hour course. Um, young to, to older, they absolutely thought it was one of the best things. They come back always saying making pizza or making 
um, whatever cooking classes they do in Italy was one of the best experiences. The, the Italians know how to do food. I will to totally do that for sure. Yeah, good. Writing it down is a good thing. So there is a, a guided Colosseum tours that you could do. You could do one uh, gladiator tour of the Colosseum. You could do, um, and this one's good for kids and families. This is the Roman Forum and um, Palatine Hill morning walking tour. It tells you all the highlights here, but you could also click on here and get additional information. Um, what's good, group size, maximum 10 people, skip the line, that kind of thing. I will give you a little hint on this though. When you're sending your clients on tours, you want to make sure that you're really finding out where to find them. It's hard for people to find each other in um, going there. So it's one of the things that I really suggest is making sure that you know exactly where to find them and put it really easily in their paperwork when you send them there. Here's an ancient Rome tour. Um, here's another Roman forum. Let's go. This is, well, see, my guys, they want to do a private tour. So we're going to do it the day after they get there. And it's a three hour tour and it's going to be fun for them. So they're going to do that. Um, the Vatican museums always, always, always do skip the line. Never do anything else, um, but skip the line. I promise you, you will be definitely um, more happy with this. I also don't like to over tour them, but you can do a tour in the morning and then do um, another tour in the afternoon. This is where we could go to Naples um, and Pompeii with lunch. Um, the underground catacombs. I know that all the clients I've sent to the underground is, have loved that as well. You see um, so many things. Here's the, the jewels, Pompeii and ruins. But we can't hit everything if we're not gonna go to a ton of places. Where is my bullet train? You know I'm looking for that bullet train. Ah, it's not on this one. Okay, but just because we think that this is all they have, it's not. They have tons more. So I could call and say, hey, this is what I'm thinking of. This is type of clients they, that I have. This is what I, where I want to go. So we're going to go to the next place. And this is Venice sightseeing. So Venice has um, amazing things. They have the walking tour. If you have folks that like to do a walking tour, gondola rides. Now the gondola rides I like to do is this one with a dinner. Uh, they're not showing it again. So it's there's a decorate your mask gondola ride um, as well. There's the gondola serenade. It doesn't take very long. They're only 35 minutes and they're spending. There are um, additional places that you could do. If you can, I would probably do the PM. There is a gondola ride that includes a dinner and a mask. And so I would ask about that. Just call your person and, and find out. So Murano, Verano, and uh, Torcia, Tor I cannot say that. Don't try to say the words. So this is one of the most beautiful um, little places you could go. And they have amazing things to do there. They have a glass blower that is right um, on site in Murano. Oh yeah, one of the glass factories. <laughs> um, you might have heard of Murano Crystal or Murano. This is a wonderful tour to take. <laughs> Excuse me. And don't be too worried about the pricing. The pricing can change for sure. This is a four hour tour. They'll have their whole day afterwards. Oh, I didn't select a date apparently on something. March there. Ah, gondola ride. Well, we want to do that. No, we're going to do that actually on the 10th at 430. You see how it jumps up in price though? It's because everybody wants to do the, the PM gondola rides. Now we have here, we're in their Florence sightseeing. 
There's again, the 24 hour sightseeing that you could hop on, hop off, 33 per person, not a bad thing to do. Skip unbooked line entrances. Um, this gallery is one of the best galleries that, that some of my clients have been to. Let's see, Tuscan Jewels in One Day. So this is wonderful. It's a 10 hour um, different, uh, excuse me, a 10 hour tour. It takes you to a lot of different places. And so, um, and you do see Pisa, which is important because we wanted to go there and know where we could go and do that. Here is a cooking class in the heart of Florence. Shopping market, cooking classes, there's, um, oh, here's Chianti and wine tasting. Do we want to do that? Five hour tour for $74? Heck yeah. You can see the Tuscan side. There's electric bike tour, which is amazing. Venice is your favorite city. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, let's see, private Siena and San Gimano. That is definitely, it's a UNICEF World uh, Heritage Site, and you definitely have to do that. Yeah, Chianti is, is definitely on the list for sure. Here's the Ligurian Coast and the Cinque Terre. So this um, Cinque Terre and Porto Vienna, they have a water fountain that's actually wine. So I'm just saying, Stacy, it sounds like you need to make your trip there. Again, a 12 hour tour, it's 704 per person, but it's one of the nicest ones for sure. Here's a private Tuscany. I've um, arranged for my clients to do a hot air balloon over Tuscany. Here's the hot air, uh, or excuse me, private Tuscan jewels. This is one that my clients, I just sent them on and they loved it. I probably double booked them and we'll see it. And I just add these in as I'm going along. Yeah, it is fire. I'm telling you. Okay, let's go ahead and go back up here. Next, let's see what we got. Oh, now we're going to build the itinerary. This is the fun part. And I do this and then send them a different itinerary. Um, but their, their itineraries are amazing. I'll have to show you one of my other clients' itineraries. It won't do it immediately. Takes a hot minute for it to get done. So it's missing hotel nights or transportation. We got to review it. Here's your commission on this 12,000 is 1,400. Okay, so we have this Rome, Phoenix to Rome. We see what the total per person is and we see our commission rate on it right there. Same with the transfers and your Savoy Hotel, the two day 48 hour tour your Colosseum tour on Friday the 8th and the 9th. We're going to do the Vatican, the museums, the Sistine Chapel, all the things that we got to get to. Then the next day, we're going to head over to um, from Rome to the terminal. And we're going to take this. And you see right here, you don't get commissions on the rail. Generally, we're going to take this rail and we're going to get in to Venice around 255. And here's where we're going to stay. And we're gonna have a private gondola ride pretty much right after we get there, which is kind of nice. Just get there, be mellow and do a gondola ride. If I could get the one with dinner, it's even better. And it's not that much more expensive. This is our half day tour. So we're gonna leave the afternoon open for them, but they could do the Murano, Burano and Torcillo. And if I'm murdering the names, please forgive me. <laughs> we're, we have all of these different, um, the one vehicle, the car, and the, uh, excuse me, they get into the train here, right here. Then we have where they're going here. Oh, I put them on a tour. That's not going to work, so I'm going to have to change that. Private Tuscan Jewels in one day. Well, apparently, I put them on the same tour twice. So I would just click out of that one and put them in tells you everything here, all this information, electronic document or paper document, the paper document fee, never do it. It's literally what you could print out yourself. So it's not worth it for your clients. You can save your itinerary. 
You could add services. You could book now. Remember when you're booking to get a copy of their passport, because if you don't get a pop copy of your, their passport, it's not going to be okay. Because when you go into book, you want to put in their actual first name. So it's as it appears on your passport, okay? Shows all this information. You could put in their frequent flyer numbers, known traveler numbers, if it's a honeymoon, anniversary. Accessibility is, is not as easy. So definitely Google if you have somebody who has accessibility issues. And then you could go through to book. So that is a booking in general. If I go through to book, I just don't, I don't want to do that right now. I am going to go to my account and show you one of my reservations to show you what one of their itineraries looks like. We'll go to, uh, oh, okay. These guys just came back recently. So this is up here. Here's what it looks like when it's all booked. It tells you exactly what it is and you could still click on them and get any kind of information you want. These are all the places that they did the small, the pizza here, they absolutely love this. Um, these are my folks who like to go on the, um, a guided tour normally, and I sent them and I made their own guided tour, basically. The average turnaround time right now, I just had a friend who got theirs in a month for a passport, FYI, to answer that question for you, Stacey. Um, all of the information, here's the gondola ride. Look, $153 for that. That's really all it is per person. Um, and this one is really cool. So they promenade, they love the gondola. Apparently they um, <clears throat> sing to you as they're, you're going on. So you get serenaded the whole time and people are absolutely crazy over this. So it's not as expensive as it is. And that's the mask the dinner that they have there and their dinner apparently was amazing. And here is the private tour here for Murano Barano and Torseo. Yeah, you gotta go, right, Stacey? Okay, so it gives the passengers, here's some messages, if there's any messages that we have with them. Um, documents, I wanna show you the documents. So they get, you get an advisor invoice, which you can look at here. And this just kind of gives me all the information that I need in order to build my sales with them. It's gonna take a hot minute. <laughs> Anybody else ready to go to Italy? Stacy going alone or she got anybody else going? Okay, so it tells you the uh, breakdown of who's going. Please review this information carefully. And then here is all of the information. By the way, I did give the, I did get them um, the Allianz policy because there is no reason for us to not have them go with uh, without insurance. Always have insurance when you're going to Europe gives you the deposit commission rate and all that, okay? So this is a huge one to do, but I wanna show you what your clients get, which is awesome. And then I'm gonna finish up and we're gonna do any kind of questions. So get your questions ready for any booking on Europe. Here's the custom itinerary that they make. So you can wait um, to send them something until you get this really nice and neat. Uh, I have a couple different programs I use. So this is just something that I input over there. Tells them your reservation ID, created departure date, return date, gives them all the information, okay? Um, and then it gives them all the information here. I like to put in more pictures because I like my clients to see all the pictures. And it gives you all the information of what they're going to do per day. And when you put this into a little, nice little package and then you add this in, I'm telling you, it is one of the best things. They really love it. I think here's the travel documents. You will get um, travel documents and I always print them out and I put it in electronic form also for them. 
those of you who use like Travel Joy or Travify, th that's what I do. This is all the travel documents. It gives them all the information. I literally go in here, y'all, and I cut and paste or copy, control copy. And it gives you all the information about touring in Europe. And then, how oh, interesting. Um, right here, it gives you all the hotel information. Here's a service voucher. Anything that's a service voucher, I always attach it to make sure because it tells you all this information here is super important. When you arrive at the airport, go left kind of thing, you know? So you want to make sure that you um, give them all this information. And I'm telling you, when I've used this system and this to sell Europe, I have become the hero to my clients. So just make sure that you're you're qualifying them and getting all the information of what they want to see and go in and do all of your training and make sure that you know where you're sending them. But I'd like to ask Miss Erica to come on with me. Thanks for those of you who had stayed to the end. <laughs> and if you have any questions about Europe or anything travel, we're here to answer them. Don't be shy. All right, guys. So now is the time to drop those questions if you have comments. Um, now is that time to go ahead and put them in the chat box. I am going to go ahead and put the sign up, the registration link for you if you have not registered. Yeah, it's a really definitely good one to register for. You don't want to wait till it's time to book Europe <laughs> and then you're trying to register. So register ahead, guys, uh, so that you already have it available when that time comes. Also, mm -hmm. uh, I'm dropping the link for the recorded trainings as well. Oh, Back thank you. Other. So one of the things that I do find um, with Europe is the minute I open the door, to booking, they literally flooded in. I don't know if you saw how many sales I had in there, but that was by word of mouth. When you start booking it, it's hard to find agents who will book it because it gets so intimidating to them. Um, but I want to encourage you to utilize the vendors that we have. If it's not Europe Express, use another one that you like that you've gone in and done training for. Um, I haven't found any training yet for Europe Express, but I know that in that vault of resources, there's lots of resources there for you. Any questions? Hi, T. Smith. <laughs> I love seeing our Evo family here. I think I know most every one of you guys, which is awesome. Makes my heart happy. Aw, you're welcome, Miss Ava. Well, if we don't have any questions, Erica, you want to wrap it up? Alrighty, since we don't have any other questions, I will do that just so. Um, again, thank you, Shauna, for that wonderful walkthrough of Europe Express and what it has to offer for our clients and that we don't really have to be intimidated by booking Europe. It's just really about just going through the process and knowing how to get through the process. So thank you again for that, Shauna. You're welcome. Um, again, and back to our One Star Platinum, this is Nina Jackson Mitchell. Um, again, thank you for your leadership. Um, if there is no other questions, no other comments, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. And that concludes our training for today. Have a good one, everyone. Have a good weekend.